check the victim. When we encounter an emergency where a victim is clearly in need of assistance, it can seem overwhelming and we may wonder what to do first. Use this simple process to check the victim and begin taking action immediately. Checking the victim's condition is essential and it is the first part of reacting in an emergency first aid situation. First, ensure the scene is safe. Second, check the victim for responsiveness and normal breathing. Tap the person's shoulder and shout, are you okay? Hey, are you okay? An unresponsive person is always considered a 911 emergency. At the same time, check whether the person is breathing normally. Occasional gasps are not normal breathing. If the victim is not responsive, call for help. If alone, call 911 from your mobile device if you have one. If you don't have a mobile device, you will need to leave the victim to call for help. Before you do, correct any immediate life threats you see, such as opening a closed airway or controlling severe bleeding. Once you reach 911, follow the dispatcher's instructions. If others are around, tell someone to call 911 and get an AED. Keep the phone by the victim. Get an automated external defibrillator if there's one nearby. Check for normal breathing. If no breathing, begin CPR and use the AED as soon as available. If the victim is responsive, talk to them or ask bystanders to find out more about what happened and the victim's condition. With a clear-cut injury, provide needed first aid before collecting the victim's history. The history can be important because it may identify the victim's condition needing first aid and because if the victim later becomes unresponsive, the first aider may be the only person able to obtain this information. Collect the victim's history. The sample history format can help you remember the kinds of questions to ask. S equals signs and symptoms. A equals allergies. M equals medications. P equals previous problems. L equals last food or drink. E equals events. Continue to check the victim and provide other care as needed. Dial 911 if the victim's condition worsens, they stop breathing, or are not breathing normally. If they are not breathing, get an automated external defibrillator if there's one nearby. Now it's your turn to practice.